How do we graph a linear equation using the x-intercept and y-intercept? Suppose we are given y equals 3x minus 6, and we want to graph the linear equation using the x-intercept and y-intercept. What should we do? First, we need to solve for the x-intercept and y-intercept. Since the equation is already in slope-intercept form, we can easily determine the y-intercept, which is negative 6. Recall that the y-intercept is the y-coordinate of a point where a line intersects the y-axis. This implies the line intersects the y-axis at the point 0, negative 6. To solve for the x-intercept, we substitute 0 to y and solve for x using addition property of equality and multiplication property of equality. The x-intercept is 2. Recall that the x-intercept is the x-coordinate of a point where a line intersects the x-axis. This implies the line intersects the x-axis at the point 2, 0. Now, we plot the points 0, negative 6 and 2, 0 on a Cartesian plane. Then, we connect the two points to graph the linear equation. How do we graph a linear equation using table of values? Let us consider y equals 3x minus 6. We complete a table of values to look for at least three points that can be used to graph the linear equation. The values in the first column represent the x-coordinates. The values in the second column represent the y-coordinates. We select an integer value as an x-coordinate and substitute it to the given equation. By doing this, we determine its corresponding y-coordinate. We do this step at least thrice. Note that every x value and y value that will satisfy the given equation will be a point on the line which we can plot on the Cartesian plane. For example, if we take x to be equal to 0, our y will be equal to negative 6. If we take x to be 1, our y will be equal to negative 3. If we take x to be 2, our y will be equal to 0. The three ordered pairs formed are 0, negative 6, 1, negative 3, and 2, 0, respectively. Now, we plot the points 0, negative 6, 1, negative 3, and 2, 0 on a Cartesian plane. Then, we connect the three points to graph the linear equation. How do we graph a linear equation using the slope and a point? Let us again consider y equals 3x minus 6. Since the equation is already in slope-intercept form, we can easily determine the slope, which is 3, and the y-intercept, which is negative 6. Again, recall that the y-intercept is the y-coordinate of a point where a line intersects the y-axis. This implies the line intersects the y-axis at the point 0, negative 6. We shall use the slope, which is 3, and the point 0, negative 6 to graph the linear equation. First, we plot the point 0, negative 6 on the Cartesian plane. Recall that the slope can be expressed as the rise over run. Since the slope is 3, we can rewrite it as 3 to 1 or 3 over 1. This means to get another point, we move 3 units up and 1 unit to the right. We get the point 1, negative 3. 
Alternatively, we can rewrite the slope as negative 3 to negative 1 or negative 3 all over negative 1. This means to get another point, we move 3 units down and 1 unit to the left. We get the point negative 1, negative 9. Now, we connect the three points 1, negative 3, 0, negative 6, and negative 1, negative 9 to graph the linear equation.